Today is my birthday, and this means that it's time to celebrate it. Get it! Here you go, evil creeper. I think Kate needs my help. I'll be there soon. Grandma, leave me alone. I don't want porridge. Wow, Kate is in trouble. I'm already running. The main thing is not to overdo it. Oh, uh, why so abruptly? I'm coming, I'm coming. What happened here, Kate? It's not a big deal. It's just, it's my birthday, and I want to taste a delicious cake. You have to cook it for me. I'm announcing a multi do challenge. A cake. Yes, easily. During my career, I have baked as many cakes as you will ever eat. First, you need to cut the cakes properly. More precisely, you need to make an even hole in them. Then, I'll just need to glue the resulting cakes with whipped cream. Just look at it. How delicious. And now, layer after layer. Inside, I'll hide a gift that Kate will definitely be absolutely delighted with. I think it will give me a victory. The main thing is to hide my surprise well. It is best to do this behind the layers of whipped cream. You need to remember to smooth out so the cake looks so smooth. Just look at it, what a beauty. The only thing left is to decorate the cake with M&M's candies. So it will become even more beautiful and of course tastier. My granddaughter won't buy such cheap tricks as a new smartphone and a cake. She just wants a beautiful and delicious cake for her birthday. That's what I'll do for her. First, you need to knead the dough. I think everyone knows this recipe. If not, then watch my hands carefully. Yeah, perfect. Then you need to add a little cocoa. Oh. So our future cake will be a pleasant chocolate flavor. Ah, oh, and the color is chocolate too. Look, Zach, have you ever seen such chocolate dough? I haven't either. It's really cool. Now the cake needs to be baked. However, first you need to get rid of the daw on your hands. Grandma came up with a great idea. Kate really loves chocolate. Why don't I make her a cake out of all the chocolate bars she loves so much? It's kind of simple. Just put it all on the pan. It's kind of too easy. Yeah, too easy. Well, it's time for the oven. Hey, wait for me! Zach, this is the oven. We'll put our cakes inside. How does it work? I think I got it. Ah, go away. I'll do it myself. Look, you would have set the highest temperature. You don't want to ruin the oven with your clumsy gestures, do you? ta -da! The cakes are ready. Just look at how pretty it is. And what a fragrance. Kate will definitely not resist this. Whoa, I also got something very pretty. Huh, cool. But, however, I would leave it in the oven for a while longer. Yeah, to make the cake cook faster, I will still increase the degrees. Grandma is no longer around anyway. My cake is ready. I hope my granddaughter will be happy with such a gift from me. It turned out to be a cake cupcake. Of course, first we must pour some water. Take some milk, huh? Put it in the glass. And wait until it melts. Now, I'll just open the package and pour the melted chocolate on my cake. And of course, don't forget about delicious sprinkles. Yeah, right there, faster, come on! Oh, I completely forgot about the cake! I hope it's all right. Oh, what a horror. I think I went a little overboard after all. Uh, I hope I come up with something after all. Damn. Everyone has such beautiful cakes, but I only have this, oh, terrible thing. That's right. I just had a great idea. 
It is necessary to embellish the cake, and its disadvantages will not be obvious. Oh, it's pointless, I lost! Don't cry. Kate, it's time to choose whose cake is better. Wow, of course you all tried very hard, except for Zach. What is this overcooked piece of chocolate? Is that chocolate crust? Did he cook it on bonfire? Ugh, fine, I'll try it. <gasps> Ew! Terrible! Let's move on. Grandma, your cupcake looks very beautiful. Let's see, is it as delicious as usual? Or even better? Mmm, this is the taste. I love your cupcakes, Grandma. The only thing left is to find out what Chef Tina has prepared. Surely her cake is also very nice. Oh, yeah, and really, it's very tasty. Wait, what's inside? Interesting. Wow, surprise! Wow! It's a brand new iPhone! Tina, I couldn't even dream of this. Imagine now what cool pictures I can take and what other functions are there. Oh, for sure, there are a whole bunch of cool games there. Tina, this is really cool. Thank you so much. Of course, after the work you've done, you're the one who wins. I knew I would win. My talent is evitable. Prepare a sandwich for me this time. I want to have lunch. Hooray, I can do that. Easy as pie. Easy. Kate, do you remember how many of these sandwiches I made for you before? You even took them to school. Of course, among all the sandwiches, you will choose the ones your beloved grandma cooked. According to tradition, I will put bread in the toaster. After that, it will be not hot, but much more delicious. Zach, can you please help me open it? No problem. Wow, it's peanut butter. It's so delicious. Can I try? Mmm, so good. Zach, what are you doing? It's for my sandwich. Ah, oh, fine. I won't be able to take peanut butter from you. I'll have to cook something more useful for Kate. For example, why not make a vegetable sandwich? I think she will really like this one. It will contain cucumbers, tomatoes, lettuce, in general, all the most healthy things. Yeah, but not tasty at all. Okay, don't worry. This time, I'll make you the most delicious sandwich. By the way, it's not very difficult to do it. First, you need to grate some cheese. Show me a person who doesn't like cheese, right? There are simply no such people. So this is a universal way to treat anyone. Now a little magic. Cheese needs to be tinted with food paint. It will be very beautiful. But that's not all. Now we have to paint each cheese plate in different colors. Next, you need to cut out hearts from pieces of bread. This way, pieces will be not only delicious, but also cute and beautiful. Put the cheese on the bread in a rainbow order. Now it's time to bake these sandwiches. Wow, even I would try this. Of course, because I'm a master of my craft. The resulting hearts are laid on a cabbage leaf. Everything is ready. I'm almost done too. Okay, I agree with Tina. Healthy sandwiches aren't very tasty, so I'll have to add some ham. And I'll also allow myself to add a little ketchup. That's better. So good. Oh, right! Sandwiches! Everyone has already prepared everything. And I just got carried away with this peanut butter. Ugh, the one who has to save me. This paste is just so delicious that combining it with bread resulting sandwich will be not equal. But I'll add some banana too. That's right. So more appetizing Christ appears in the bread. I'll just carterize it a little. With iron? Why not? Granny, look what I've come up with. Interesting, but where does the burnt stink come from? Zach, it's all your iron! Oh no! How sloppy I am! I burnt my dish again! Ugh. Zach, 
up, you need to pay attention. I still have a chance. I don't even know where to start. Everything looks so delicious. Sag, did you overdo it on fire again? What have you prepared for me? It's just impossible to eat. Disgusting. I could have tried a little longer. No, this abdomination is no good. Let's see how grandma surprises me. That's what I get. This is a sandwich. The most delicious sandwich I've ever tasted. I just need to try Tina's sandwich now. Whoa, so bright. And all the colors of rainbow. Inside. Whoa, cool. It's also incredibly delicious. I'm absolutely thrilled. But still, grandma's sandwich seems to be more appetizing. I'm sorry, Tina. Hooray, finally I want to. Make a chocolate bear this time. I want a delicious teddy bear. Something new. I hope I can handle it. And I already have an idea. I'm going to need Oreo cookies to make it happen. First, you need to get rid of the cream between the cookies. Mmm, how delicious it is after all. Now you need to crumble the cookies. The main thing is not to eat this yummy ahead of time. Next, I will need Nutella. Mmm, such a fragrance. I need to try it first. I need to mix it thoroughly with Oreo crumbs and get a sticky mass. Nutella? Hmm, it's a good idea. I will add some Nutella to my dough too, so it'll become more chocolate. And therefore, more delicious. Now I get to beat this dough well with a mixer. Oh, so long. Let's try mixer. That's better. Yeah, Grandma, you cooked the dough for a very long time. Mine is already ready. I pour some natural cocoa into it. I also want to make the dough chocolate. After all, the bear should be brown. Well, my chocolate mess of this Oreos and Nutella is ready. It was necessary to make teddy bear out of it. <laughs> Zach, you don't know how to sculpt at all. How to cook, too. Watch and learn. I have the pancake batter almost ready. It needs to be poured into a bottle so that the later it will be easier to squeeze it into a frying pan. Just look at how beautiful it turns out. These are really edible bears. Kate will be absolutely thrilled. I could also stick candy eyes on a bear. They can be tastier than your berries. It's all nonsense. The bear must be big. It needs to be baked. It is the best to do it with a burner. Whoa. What's the flame? I like it. Ooh, let's see. Oh, I wanted to make cookies, but I completely forgot that the dough swells. What have I done? Well, bad luck. How clumsy I am. How could I forget? Whoa, your bears are so cute. Except for that, Tina. It's kind of creepy. I hope it's at least delicious. Ugh, a nightmare! Is it even possible to crack it? How does it even exist? Apparently nothing. Well, let's see what grandma has prepared for me. These are teddy bear pancakes! How lovely! Yeah, they're wonderful! Mmm, good. Now let's see what Zach came up with. Oh, it's very cool! I didn't expect such a chocolate bear! Zach, congratulations! You're an obvious victory! Finally! How long have I been waiting for this? Hooray! I won! I won! I won! I'm happy for him. Subscribe to the Multi-Do Challenge so you don't miss our funny videos and funny characters. 
Stay with us. See you soon. <laughs>